Hey, it worked. Uh, he's so goddamn loud, always. Hey, it wasn't that loud for me this time. Weird. Weird shit. Fucking I also great. realized I had the kick drum EQ on there, and that's probably why it was being so weird. Yeah, it definitely sounds better at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, I, was, I thought it sounded a little off, but I, like it wouldn't show up when I tried to do uh, channel 16, which is where I have my vocals set on this console now, but... Mm. Oh, yeah, working out the kinks of a new console, definitely. Yeah, I didn't uh, think about that at all. Yeah. <laughs> so I saved right. a new scene for podcast, so anything I figure out tonight will be saved. Sick, and uh, you sound the best you sounded so far, so... That's good. Yeah. Um, all right, uh, I've got my topics pulled up. Eddie has his topics. Jeremy probably didn't do his homework because I didn't give him enough of a heads up, probably, but that's all right. We'll that's we'll get through this. Excuse. Yeah. 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 Hey, man, in my in my yeah. defense, I've yeah. been working yeah. out, yeah. organizing yeah. three different events. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right, fellas, you, you feeling pretty ready? I'm feeling pretty ready here. Depends on how you define ready. No, I don't give a fuck. I guess we're right. going anyway. Ah! Yeah, yeah probably. Let's do it. All right. All right. That was my eardrum, motherfucker. Oh, you didn't need that. It's fine. Hey, guys, welcome to the Sketchy Squares podcast. This is episode, I think, six maybe probably yeah that's the one um as always it's me sora and you got eddie and jeremy we're just gonna skip their intros because fuck them um and oh. before i forget um theme song I'm wondering if it's only playing on his side. Oh, yeah. really? You guys not hearing yeah. it? Not at all. Nope. That's not promising. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was the one having issues with sound today. All right. Um, everything's exactly as it was before, and it seems like theme song didn't work. All right. We'll find out later when I look at the files. Woo! Anyway, it's over now, so uh, I was wondering why you guys were talking through it. That would explain. Uh, no, we just don't respect your music. Oh, I don't either, so I, mean, I get it. Heard it. Yeah. Yeah, well. I mean, yeah. 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 So, guys, uh, anyone got any pressing topics they're just dying to get off their chest here and f right away and foremost and whatnot, et cetera, Fortnite? Yeah. So, obviously, the big news of the week was Persona 4 Golden coming to Steam. Hot damn, dude. I am so hype about that. Nothing else too, matters. Right? Yeah, yeah it's like it yeah, that's fucking that's a steal, dude. Like, I didn't even hear about that. That's awesome. Hell yeah, dude. Once you get like a solid graphics card, check it out. It's a fucking good game. It's not, you know, like story wise, I didn't like it nearly as much as three, but like, it's still fucking great. The gameplay was fantastic. You can't go wrong, you know. I think the characters really stood out in a lot in Ward Four than any of them. Yeah, I would say so. They definitely felt more like unique characters instead of just like like five. I really liked the game, but like they all felt like just tropes, just mm -hmm. very basic. And it was like, eh, I don't know. I don't really feel anything for anyone here. I'd like three more mainly because it was way darker. I mean, the whole thing was like, you know, you shoot yourself to make the persona come out. So, yeah, I mean, that's that's going to signify that's what that game's about. But. Oh, that's cool. So are you gonna play it? Uh I mean at some point. I never I haven't even finished Persona Five. No. <laughs> I need yeah, to get around you, back to that. You know I haven't either though, so don't feel bad. I, but but you know, if I if I go Persona Four, it's only so I can have my waifu Chie. Chie is a disgusting mess and you How disappoint me. Dare you Especially in a game where you have such an option as Rise, like, come on, get real. How dare you? 
get real. I mean, she's even voiced by Rie Kugamiya, arguably the best voice actress in Japan. So just there it goes. Yeah, I do. I mean, yeah, I could get started, but I think I'll spare you guys this time. You should. You should because you will lose. Look, so she also voiced Taiga, and come on, that uh, Toradora. What's more influential than Toradora? Like, what are you tell me, Dragon Ball? Uh, yeah. Get out of here! You all are fucking crazy. <laughs> You think they're still making shonen anime? No way. It's all rom com now, no, baby. No, it's all it's it's all isekais. What are you talking about? Oh shit, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> no, that's seriously okay. though. No, that's good shit too. Dragon Ball. Uh, dude, like so Dragon Ball is better than Dragon Ball Z, right? Like I'm not the only one who feels that way. First half of Dragon Ball. Especially oh, whether where they're still just kind of wandering around. Oh yeah. Drag, second half is mostly is it's just Dragon Ball Z early edition. Yeah, <laughs> yeah basically. Yeah, uh, that's true. It did get kind of janky at the end, but man, early days were good. I mean, you got to see like Bulma's panties and shit. It was great. Yeah, you can't go wrong there. Your priorities are in order. Yeah, hundred <laughs> <laughs> percent. Let's Google how old was Bulma supposed to be at the beginning of Dragon Ball. Well, look. All right, you know. I mean, to cut him a little bit of slack. How old was he when he was watching that? Hey, thank you. Thank you, Jeremy. Dragon Ball, when it first came out, was before both of you were born. So, yeah, by the time I watched it, she was plenty old enough. Like, I'm just saying. (laughs) Just saying. (laughs) All right, before the cops come get me, those bastards. Um, (laughs) Yeah, so I guess we're just going to keep going with the video game theme. Uh, Definitely check out Persona 4. Oh, shit. Fuck. It's going to turn into a fucking swatting. Oh, that's just Patrick. It's not the police. We're all right. <laughs> I'm not Patrick. <laughs> Speaking of, did you hear that apparently Nickelodeon came out and said SpongeBob is, a, is officially gay? Yeah, I, I saw that. I'm just like, Wait, that's I, cool. Like, respect and all. But, like, who, who fucking cares? Like, I'm not trying to bone him. Like, why do I need to know what his sexual preference is? That's his business and his I lover's. Mean- I mean, mine. I'm mild, I'm mildly disappointed that he's not hooking up with Sandy. I can but, see that, but but it's That's also right. like it's also like they weren't really having him like make any passes at anybody else. This is yeah. true. Yeah, I just assumed he was asexual and didn't I really mean, give a fuck, you know? Oh yeah, if if actually if SpongeBob ended up being ace, I think that would have been per uh, would have like. Yeah. Exactly what I've imagined. SpongeBob's got, ace. Yeah. He's got other priorities, man. He's got a full time job. He's gotta look after his neighbor who's mentally challenged. I mean, he's got so yeah. much on his plate as it is. Like where does he have time for dating? No, I mean I just never seem to be an interest of his. So I'll yeah, blame him. Exactly. Plus he's already got Gary. It's a great pet. If you have a great pet, what do you need a companion for? I mean, it's nothing wrong with having both, but I mean, you, you know how it is. Single, single guy, single adult guys, and and if they have a cat, it's yeah, just, it's just the way yeah. it is. Way Which Gary meows. He's a cat. Let's let's be honest here. It's the snail's meant to be an underwater cat. We get it. As my as my cat is staring at me from behind. The... <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I didn't want to call you out there, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus. Okay. So uh, I guess we could just get right into the nitty gritty of it. Um. PS5 fucking Sony just had their big whole presentation in the absence of any uh, conventions and shit going on. Wait, um, what happened? Wait. Yeah, yeah. Wait, so the PS5 what? is official. Wait. It's announced. Wait, this, this is going to happen. Real? This, yeah. This is, this is it. No, I, I, I know. I watched all the, the videos. Oh, okay. All right. You're, you're being facetious. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, yeah no, I was going to go with the bit, but. I have notes, damn it. I went right, through and looked every single one of them. Fantastic. I don't know what any of the notes I wrote down mean, but I have notes. <laughs> well, it's a start, that's, that's for right. sure. One of them is just the title and hmm. All right, well, I would definitely like for you to elaborate on that. Thank you. Yes, please. Go ahead. The mic is yours. Uh, okay, it's the game Pragmata. Uh, I don't remember which one that was now oh okay so pragmata is it's like the weird you're in the middle of a city it kind of looks like the division a little bit like you're in the middle of an abandoned city wandering around but you're like the like a a really high-tech spacesuit 
And there's oh. holograms, and there's the little girl and the weird holo- yeah. hologram cat that you can like the, see through his bones and stuff. The one that looks like a Kojima fucking production. It, it very much looks like a Kojima, just just the design. Like the robot looks like his new logo, 100%. Like, I swear. It's possible it is. I'm looking it up. It's developed by Capcom, so maybe not. <laughs> oh, yeah, probably not. I, I don't think it was, but it, it's, it looks like yeah, somebody it, was inspired by him at the very least. I definitely felt like a Kojima because that because that was the other one as I was getting was uh, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance was also a little bit of, mm. a little bit of hints of that. Yeah, yeah, I could definitely see that mixed and, with uh, Destiny. And it's funny that you mentioned Revengeance because speaking of stupid fucking names, there was another game that was announced. I think it was the first one that had a really stupid name too, like that. What the fuck was it? It was stupid though. There was some stupid names. Yeah, there was there was a lot of stupid names. Yeah, but the, it was the very first one. Is um, they had a lot of female protagonists, by the way, which is awesome. But the very That's first good, one with some chick specific. that was like talking a lot about nothing. And she was like in a suit or whatever, and and it had a name similar to like Revengeance. That it's like okay, you just kind of made your own word. Is it I that guess. Returnal one. Yeah, Returnal. That's it. Oh, That's the stupid yeah, fucking that name. One. I would look just I I was so dumb I didn't even make a comment about it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really know what to think of it. Uh maybe as we see more I'll have an opinion, but that name is fucking stupid. Returnal. Like fuck. Makes off. it kind of hard to come to it when you're just like, mm, uh, Do I even like, want to know what this is about? I mean, that's like an actual word, right? So, I guess that's not as bad as revengeance, but it's an actual word. I don't I think, think Returnal is an actual word. Eternal. <laughs> I'll await, yeah. await your returnal. Isn't that not? Nah, maybe I'm just fucking retarded. But that's probably true. Oop, I used the R word. Sorry, guys. <sighs> I'm a terrible person. Now but yeah. This shit. Yeah, we do. We got to censor the fuck out of that. Um, That's okay. I wasn't looking just for Trump bucks anyway. Of bleeps. I mean, that's probably for the best if we just cut my track completely. We feel that way most of the time, other, yeah. Also. Yeah, yeah I feel as much. Notes. Yeah. All so right. Well, conversation's not happening. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. There'll be a lot of dead space, but it's fine. It's worth it. No, 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 no. They, they did bring up dead space in a conference in one of the conferences, oh, Jesus. but there's no new dead space. Um, oh my fuck! Don't confuse God. people. Oh, I'm gonna throw up on you. <laughs> Christ. I mean, they so, did. They did show a new Resident Evil though. That did look. Yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, eight village. Yeah, we've been hearing you know mumblings about the past couple weeks, and honestly. On one hand, I'm like, I'm going to give it a try. On the other hand, I'm like, it reminds me too much of 4. And if you know anything about me, I think 4 was fucking hot garbage and the worst game in the series. Like, I would play 6 over 4 any day. At least I would have a good time playing the game. But, you know, a lot of people who love 4 are excited. And I'm like, good for you guys. Like, that's cool. I got my Resident Evil 2 remake. I've got my Resident Evil, so I'm happy. You know what I mean? Like, I was always a big 2 fan more than anything else back when it was still horror yeah yeah but it was but it was like turn walk turn oh yeah walk. Uh, that's the, true. Old, the old tomb raider control scheme <laughs> yeah exactly did you ever play uh any of you guys play the remake though no i oh, didn't I... like the original you know me I don't oh yeah it's true games. which is funny because you had it and that's how i got to play it so i thought it was the dumbest <laughs> i was like this oh. is so pointless yeah, fair enough dude yeah, i love the rush of it fun. well the remake was fucking fantastic very fun to play i mean very modernized but like while still keeping true to the original and just fucking gorgeous dude the re engine i think it's called fucking gorgeous dude i saw a lot of memes about mr x i think it is yeah yeah this. Him like just tracking you down and just them showing all kinds of weird videos with him. I didn't get that far, but I'm probably very close to that. I I have to play in small batches during the day. Otherwise, I can't do it. It's too much for me. <laughs> <laughs> but I enjoy it regardless. Um, yeah, Mr. X was basically the same idea as Nemesis in three. Which, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. So yeah, more PS5 talk. Um, yeah, Kenna, I think it Kena, Kenna, Kena. Kena. Oh, that was Kena. an interesting experience. Looks cool. Yeah. Uh, looks very um, uh, Horizon in gameplay, but then like it looks like more fun melee than Horizon did. Yeah, I, it reminds me a lot of Breath of Breath of the Wild. In its bit. art direction, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, it was like it, a little bit less, you know, because it's the cell shady and a little more on the cartoony side. But right. also, but also kind of that weird, very fantasy, but like druidic fantasy. Yeah, like it kind of like reminded elements. me. Yeah. Like of um, Ori in the Blind Forest almost mm-hmm. in some aspects, like the coloration. Um, yeah. Which that was an awesome game too, but I'm yeah. not going to get into that. But it was kind of cool. It was like just the magical girl. And I was like, it's full of a lot of these stupid cutesy mascot things. Yeah. And I was like, oh, uh, but I'm like, oh, while well, watching it actually looks kind of interesting. And some yeah. of that stuff actually looks like it would be legitimately uh, worrisome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it's there was a lot of cutesy stuff during this presentation in general. Oh, I was noticing. I have like three things written down. Looks cute. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah, for sure. No, so I'm excited for that. That looks like it's gonna be. It could be good. No, I'm excited to see more. I guess would be a better way to put it, because I I don't have enough to say that I'm gonna definitely buy it yet. Mm-hmm. But now the know. most interesting game I thought that came through Stray was Stray. Of course, was good. Oh, but yeah. oh. interesting enough, I kind of want to see Death Loop. Oh, fucking Death Loop! All right, so. I've been hearing about this game for a while and really? seeing things. Yeah, they, they were talking about it like almost a year ago, I want to say. They first started talking about it and showing mm-hmm. off things from it. Um, I'm mad, though, because when they started the fucking video for it, even though they like gave the introduction, by the time it finally got into the video, I forgot the introduction. And I was like, oh, yeah, this is I don't know what this is. And I'm like watching. I'm like, oh, my God, this this looks like Bioshock. Wait. Is this a new Bioshock? What the that fuck? That was literally what I wrote down. That was so hard. I was like, what, Bioshock? What? Yeah. That was my first reaction. I'm like, is this a Bioshock game? Dude, my, my fucking heart was so crushed when it was like Deathloop. And I was like, oh, yeah, they introduced it. I already knew what the game was before this start. God damn it. All right, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but, um,. Uh, it's funny, though, because uh, the creators are the same guys that did Dishonored, which that was the first thing I thought when I saw that game, too, was, oh, oh, it looks like Bioshock. <gasps> and then I played it, and it was, eh, eh. And then, uh, but that's what I'm looking at. Is, I said Bioshock initially, and then when they started getting into the gameplay, it was like, oh, it's Dishonored. <laughs> it just looked exactly. like, like all the movements, the very verticality. and Oh, yeah. Which, I mean, the last Bioshock Infinite was like that, too. It was heavy on it, the They started doing but... that, and they have said that they're working on a new one. So I was like, oh, maybe this is it, you know? Like, we'll see what they're doing post-Ken Levine, you know? But, yeah. But, it, I mean, it, I honestly think that that was one of the more interesting games that came through. No, for sure. It looks like it could be fun. Um, I remember it being described to me as a multiplayer, but I could be misremembering. So I'm hoping that could be like a weird. There's like some elements that I think they hinted at it. Yeah, like when they first announced it, I, I was under the impression it was like a one v one type thing, and I I don't know. It's kind of what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, it could be good. I I could get over my anti multiplayer thing. I just get yeah. really tense, way too tense. <laughs> You don't do the competitive scene well. No, and especially in a 1v1 situation, I get really tense because it's like, all right, there's one other guy here. I can't blame my team if all goes south. Like, this is this is going to be all me. Like, fuck. Mm-hmm. But we'll see. We'll definitely see. It's something to keep an eye out for, I think. It's definitely a unique kind of concept behind it. And if it's giving me Bioshock vibes, it's at least worth trying, right? It's worth trying, yeah. Because oh. it can't hurt, please some point yeah i mean i'm not planning on getting the ps5 for like at least a year i want to kind of hold off and see if they're going to release like ps5 plus or something you know whatever yeah. PS Pro. I we'll see if they actually port some issue. games up i mean there are still games from ps1 i'd love to see on the ps oh yeah well see wasn't the rumor that's supposed to be completely backwards compatible yeah but nothing was ever confirmed on that the most we've got no. confirmed is about a thousand ps4 games are going to be playable on it but that's the last I heard was that was it. They haven't said officially anything else. So we'll see. Mm. I hope they do go full backwards compatibility, though. Like they just have such Pretty a collection of legacy. So like, yeah, right. Like even even if like I have to like go find a copy of a game that I haven't played in like 30 years, even though I've not been alive that long. Um, 
like I'll, I'll go hunt that shit down. I mean, I got, I got tactics sitting over there. I just don't want to fire up my PS3. You know what I mean? I've got, I've got mm-hmm. games. <laughs> and especially hey, I, if they do I'll like go back to that controller. Go back to the controller. Oh yeah, no, fuck the PS3 no. PS3 controller. And, and oh like, God, so it up, it creaks, and I just, it just feels. It's weird. awful. It's awful. It's cheap. <laughs> it's garbage. The battery was decent at least, but it just feels like shit. Um, I mean, you can use a PS4 controller, but you either have to go wired if you want vibration, or you can go wireless. You just don't get the the, the vibration at all, which. Mm. And it's kind of a setup, and you still have to use a PS3 controller to set it up. So it's like, eh. Either way, you still have to interact with it. Right. And, like, I feel like if they do something similar, like um, what Xbox One did with um, taking the Xbox 360 games and taking advantage of that extra power to give you a better version of the game, you know, better frame rate. Like better... some upscaling. A little bit. Yeah, yeah. Like, if they be do fine. that, I that would, would be that. fantastic. There's so many PS3 games that were great games, but the hardware just could not handle, like... Like Final Fantasy 13 fucking frame rate is so oh all over God. the place in that game. But it was so a good often game. You start fighting and then there's just like flashes everywhere and oh nothing's God. moving. It's like yeah. jumpy and fucking screen tearing and it gets uh-huh. like real. Oh, it's it's awful. And that's that's why I was excited about the PC port. But well, <laughs> we all know how that went. Yeah. I'm sorry if I have to follow a thread and spend 20 minutes like reading before i even start the process of patching with all these fan-made patches to get it to run well i'm fucking out dude count me out yeah, it's not worth it uh, okay. so uh yes yeah, st- going back to stray though stray looks fucking awesome dude stray looks really interesting <laughs> fucking neo-noir like with a fucking you you play as a cat in a world of robots like i i want to oh, know yeah. more i have to know more like such a cool concept tell me <laughs> tell me tell me what's going on in this world where is everybody where i am i a cat yeah exactly like what is the deal like dude does the cat talk i don't know we'll find out that seems to be the theme of this fucking this announcement thing, though. There's, I mean, there's only two things, but like cats and robots. Like, that's I guess yeah. the thing just for PS5. That's going to be its theme. I don't know. Mm. Well, it's funny because they did the robot thing again with the Hori- the new Horizon game. Yep. Yep. Which don't worry, okay. it's be robot cats. Yeah, I'm sure. There better be cats. At some point, there will be, but it's like. I don't know. I just got Finally so gone. burned out by the first Horizon game. It's like, I don't really want to go and do it again. Yeah, because that game fell into the trap of what a lot of open world games do, where it's just like the, the mindless Assassin's Creed collectible game, where it's like, mm-hmm. all right, go do this thing over here. That takes 10 seconds. And it's like, oh, well, well why did I do it, that? It also did the a lot of the Monster Hunter. OK, let's just get parts. Really yeah. Something Crafting, dude. Like, look, all right, crafting is a cool system. I get it. I understand the explosion after, like, Minecraft and all that. But, like, leave that for survival games, man. That's what it's there for. I just feel it's it's unnecessary in other things. Like, I was kind of thinking it was cool with uh, Animal Crossing until I got into the practice of it. And it's just like, now it just feels like a hindrance sometimes. Because you got to sit there and farm for, like, three hours just to get the one part you need. Yeah, just so you can continue going on with the story. It's like come yeah. on. that just makes the progression bad. Cause like even in Minecraft, it's like if I want diamonds, which is the big thing you want, just go down to a certain level, and you, probably after an hour you'll find you know twenty something diamonds. Yeah, that's totally doable. But the other thing with Horizon was the final boss was a fucking joke. It was just a fucking enemy that you had already fought like mini boss three times throughout the game, just rehashed, and you're like, well, all right, this is dumb. Oh, I guess I'll do this far. again. I, 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 <laughs> yeah, I never beat it, but uh, I watched M play through it mostly. So yeah. I, yeah. I watched Sam play a little bit when she was playing, but I tried to tune it out because I thought I was going to get to it right away, and then I didn't play it for like almost two years. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, okay. I didn't miss a whole lot. <laughs> I gotta say, like, like there hasn't been a ton of those type of games that I've beaten. Like the big open worldy, yeah. Like the last one besides like GTA Five that I beat like that was Spider Man. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, well, I still got to buy that from you. Oh yeah, Spider Man was legit. Oh yeah, that's what I've heard. 
Spider-Man was cool. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, they've got a Spider-Man sequel. That was like the very first thing they fucking did. Yeah, and they're apparently, I don't know this character, but um, I was watching the Mega 64 reactions and stuff, and uh, they're, uh, fucking Rocco was losing his mind about the character. Apparently, it's his, like, favorite, like, most of, like, the Spider-Verse's favorite, like, version of Spider-Man. I mean, uh, everybody still loves Peter Parker, but Miles Morales was, like, the coolest. Have you watched Into the Spider-Verse yet? Yeah, yeah. That's him. Oh, that's uh, oh yeah, that is the same guy. Okay, fair enough. Fair it's enough. like a, it's like a slightly different take on him, but of it's course. still him. It's Miles Morales. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. That's exactly what that is. That's and mm. he's cool as hell. He's a very different type of Spider-Man. Yeah, he's very not different like, type of... just just a dweeby dude. Like he he has more to him than that. All right, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what it is, and and it's set up in the first game that you oh, know, okay. Miles Morales is a character in the first Spider-Man. Nice. Okay. So, so Peter Parker is the Spider-Man, but Miles Morales is there. <laughs> gotcha. Now he's so becoming it's... another Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. It's not quite Robin rules, but I, I get it. Yeah. It's you know it, it, it's weird because it's it's from the Marvel Ultimate. All this is still based on Marvel Ultimate, as opposed to canon everybody else is used to. Mm, so, gotcha. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's interesting, but it was really well done. The first oh, one, so I yeah. really, I'm really looking forward to the second one. See, that's the thing is, I remember playing the PS2, I want to say games, and fucking mm-hmm. loving them. And everything I've heard about the new one has been nothing but good, dude. Nothing but good. So this, it, it, it's got a lot of similar combat style to the Arkham City games. Okay. So the the counter and the the stuff, but yeah. it's more Spider-Man than Batman. That you're bounced around, flying around, and Jump yeah. around using technology, tons of gadgets. Hell yeah. Um, you're using your webs for all sorts of crazy shit, both in combat and out. And you got a ton of stealth, but it's a, like a different kind of stealth than Batman's. Oh, okay. You know. Oh, huh. so interesting. It just, it just it pushes more. It's a Spider-Man game. It's about as, as good of a Spider-Man game as you could l- legitimately make, I think. Wow. That's good to hear, man. I'm, not, I'm really looking forward to giving it a shot at some point. So, oh. let's see. I gotta get my hands on a copy at some point too. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. It's out there. Oh. Cool. So what else are we looking for? Oh, I didn't even mention the most important announcement that they made at the PS5 thing. <laughs> you guys get ready. We have a new Skyrim, everyone. GTA 5 officially coming to the PS5. Oh, yeah, baby. We did it. Of course it is. Of course it is. <laughs> I, mean, after, I mean, GTA Online is making them so much fucking money. Oh, I'm sure so, it is. That's why they gave it away for free on Epic Games. Oh, yeah. Oh, like, yeah. They were like, we're a microtransaction game now. <laughs> yep. Yep. And that's God, not... so weird. That's fine. I'm cool with it. I don't mind it. I can still play the game and enjoy it without having to deal with the microtransactions. I mean, yeah, I have never once actually gone on to the online segment. Oh, it's OK. Eh. It, it feels like watered down GTA. Um, but, you know, you have to create your own character. So that was kind of the biggest bonus for me because I'm still kind of mad that to this day we still have yet to have a GTA with a female protagonist. You know, me and True. my female protagonist. So True. So that that kind of helped fill that void in a way. I mean, it's been interesting. I I've always said this is the most frustrating part is I have a really hard time telling CJ and Franklin apart. Yeah. By personality. Yeah. Um, by looks, they look very different. You know, they they're 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 but the personality, it's like they just didn't write the characters very different. They're yep. both they're both ambitious young black men who are trying to get out of the hood, but the hood yeah. keeps telling them they have to go back. Yeah, that's um, because the hood, the hood is more real. That's fucking accurate though. That that has always been kind of a problem with the series. It's like I don't know. Like I, I get the the whole idea is to have caricatures and shit, but like it feels like they yeah. went a little more in depth with the white characters for sure. Yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't make sense, but I would like to see them do a better job with that moving forward. Yeah, you know, better if, representation. If, yeah, if GTA 6, we have a 
it, it, there's still the talk that it's probably going to be in Vice City again. Yeah. That Which, would be fantastic. <laughs> yeah. I, I think it's about time we got an updated version of Vice City. I was really happy to get an updated version of Los Santos. So. Yeah. So we've, we've done Liberty City again. We've done yeah. Los Santos, et cetera, again, you know. It's got to be time for fucking Miami. I, I mean, Vice City. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's gotta be. We gotta get. We gotta get Vice City back. And that, if you don't freaking make a Latina, oh, uh, dude, that would, that'd be a fucking. Oh You're my done. god, a fucking Latina. Yes, like, oh mm-hmm. man, just bring that sass out, please. I would love that. That's like a perfect like person to pick for a GTA. Well, and, uh, yeah, and she'd end up with like a. She'd be a little sassy, but she'd ha- she'd have like the Dominican, the the the, the overweight Dominican best friend. Oh yeah. Who's just it was just a literal ball of crazy. Hell yes, dude. And that would just fill so much time with like antics and shit. Like, like, oh, like yeah. you know, kind of be like a Trevor type character. She could, uh, she could totally do that. Yeah. That'd be cool to see. I'm interested to see what they do. And I hope they, you know, say anything more about it anytime soon. But yeah, it, there was hints at it. And then yeah. That's all we've gotten. Yeah. yeah but. The- the most official thing they've said is basically, yeah, we're working on it. <laughs> that's about it. Well, I mean, that that's about the best we've gotten from uh, from Elder Scrolls. <laughs> oh Six yeah, goes. that that's gonna be like four years from now, man. <laughs> They're gonna be like, all right, guys, we're gonna show you Elder Scrolls Six. They'll show a cool little trailer. Everybody be real, real hype, and they're like, all right, it's dropping in a month, and we're gonna be like, whoa. <laughs> yeah bethesda fucking nails that bethesda, though man. they're like fucking hype train it's slow going for a while and then they're just like all right here's everything guess what it's almost out and you're just like wait what motherfuckers and i'm like i don't even have time to get my pre-order <laughs> yeah which which console do i get it on oh it's on every console yeah what <laughs> Yeah, it'll be on PS4, PS3, PS2, you know, everywhere. It's yeah, fine. It's going to be on PS2. Yeah, probably. Oh, my goodness. I've seen somebody run Skyrim on an Apple Watch. Oh, my fucking oh my God. God. Didn't somebody do it on, like, a smart fridge, too? <laughs> I know they do Doom, but Doom oh, can be yeah, put on. Oh, yeah, it was Doom. Okay. But, yeah, I would love to see fucking Skyrim on a fucking... <laughs> I would, I would, yep, I'd appreciate it. I mean, it looks like a PS2 game, so. Yeah, I mean, it's not PS2 level, but it does look bad. It was early PS3, wasn't it? Yeah, I believe so. It was one of the first, like, big PS3 hits, I would say. Yep. Like, within the first year or two. Yeah. That's cool. Seller. I still have yet to beat that game completely, though, so. Eh. I don't think any gamer has. Yeah. Uh, that's not true. I know a few people who have. It's, so that's the thing though with Skyrim. Hours in. If if yeah. you've just like, I mean, you can put over a thousand hours in and never beat the game, honestly. But like, you could put ten hours in and beat the game. Like the the main story is so short, from what I've heard. Like it's like maybe ten like main missions. And I know it's I'm very uh, follow it all the way through without branching off. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you always get sidetracked by side quests. That's what they're there for, and that's where most oh. of that game's depth is, is the side yeah. quests and random shit you run into. Like, all the shit we bitch about with uh, with the open-world games, that is, like, the best the best world for that. Yeah. But that's why but that's why they get to get away with remaking it 12 times. Oh, yeah, because that's it's just true. a legitimately good game. It's a legitimately good game, and I can go in there every time and do the entire fucking thing differently. Yeah, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. And then still turn back into a stealth archer. Yep, uh, every time. Every fucking time. I swear. I'm like, alright, I'm gonna fucking go heavy, fucking two-handed weapons. Ten minutes later, I'm fucking stealth arching. Right away. Like, it, it always <laughs> happens. I'm like, it, it just makes sense. I'll just do the stealth archer to, like, soften them up first. Yep. And then come in and wreck them. Yep, yeah. with the two one-handed weapons. Yep. And, yeah. <laughs> two one-handed yeah. weapons, or or two uh two destruction spells like yep, like the fire or like lightning or something. Yeah. I tend to mm-hmm. kind of mix them too. One one-handed, one uh, yeah. elemental attack. Yeah, yeah kind of. Yeah, That's yeah, cool. I'll do that sometimes too. No. <laughs> cool. We we're talking about PS5. I end up talking about Skyrim, the game that never goes away. Awesome. <laughs> Todd, Todd Howard pays us very well. 
I wish, dude. Todd, fucking pay us. We got you, dog. All of our best we- audience will fucking be playing this game tomorrow now. <laughs> Todd, I will literally name my first sport child. Todd. Oh, I'm naming mine Skyrim. Fuck it. We're getting the word out. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Pulling no punches. So, have we seen any Naruto's running around? Just saying. I mean, like, it's all of the people who grew up with it are like past baby making age. So there's got to be little Naruto's running around, little Sasuke's. And I would, this. I would bet money that there is kids with Sasuke middle names. It's, oh, oh yeah. at least at least middle name. But I know there's got to be some first namers out there. There's got to be life's some... hell for. But you, you got to mention there's some probably some. Uh... Some uh, girls running around with Kagome. <laughs> oh, Kagome, yeah. Yeah, I, you know, I'm surprised I didn't see more of that. It's, uh, it's weird. Well, I had a real dark thought, and I'm not going to go ahead and give that one out, so we'll leave that. Yeah, we'll move on to that one. <laughs> so, um, another one on the list. Yeah. Um, first, I'm going to mention one that I was just kind of like, I have no fucking clue, and then, and then I'm going to talk about one that I actually kind of interested in so right, first off see. goodbye volcano high what just what the fuck <laughs> just hey, hey. so that, hey guys holy shit what the fuck what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> so I love it because people are calling it DeviantArt the game, which I always called that <laughs> other fucking furry game. What was that? Um, Maple Story? Or... No, no. You play – it's it's similar to like Ori in the Blind Forest where it's like that 2D platformer, but you're like the main character is like this wolf fox thing or whatever. Ah, God, I can't remember the name of it. It was actually a good game other than being furries everywhere. But yeah, that that was what I called Demon Art the game. No, this this took that title right away. Like it took two seconds to go. What in the fuck am I watching? Yeah, it was uh, it was definitely some furry madness. Which yeah. all right, like cool. I get it. Um, you know, you're you're pandering to a broad audience. Go for it. Um, uh, yeah. getting the crowd well, that maybe is underserved. So it's uh, it it's probably like B Star. What is it? B Stars is that B Stars? Yeah, anime ish type show. Yeah. yeah, that's out, and it's probably like that exact same crowd. Uh, yeah, I I assume so. Uh, you know that's cool good for you guys you got you got more stuff but i just you know I, that was kind of like why did we throw this in the presentation though it was okay like it, it didn't tell you anything about the game other than yeah so i guess this is a thing yeah <laughs> sorry <laughs> I, I mean you're welcome i, I, don't, I don't know what, what whichever one applies to you I mean, Bye. even if they had said anything about the game, I honestly didn't pay any attention after the first two seconds of seeing it. Like, this is yeah. not for me. Not for me, man. Not at all. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it's... Yeah. But again, it... good for furries. You know what? We don't say that often enough in this world. Good That's for right. furries. Good for furries. Go oh, well, Just take, take the win. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. now was there a more what the fuck game besides that? I would say there was a game they had on there called Bug Snacks. Bug oh, Snacks. Yep. See, that now I actually I think that looks pretty like cute and fun. I can't remember who makes it, but it was somebody that was like legit. It was oh shit! It was uh, the guys who made Octodad. Yeah, that's who it was. So I'm like, yeah. I, you know, I could give it a shot. It could be fun. At least. It reminded me a little bit of Viva Pinata. But like less, but less like violent because Viva Pinata like turned into this just like very fucking weird social dar this weird Darwinism fucking simulator. It was a weird game. Yeah, it was. But but I like know. that. I like to see more weird games becoming the, more mainstream instead of the but same. This light. one's a lot more wholesome. Like Octodad was very wholesome. Yes, yes, it was. That was a fun game. So it was just it was really fucking weird. <laughs> it's what it was though. Yep. That was and just I, my reaction. And again, like I said, man, I'm excited for that because I'm getting sick of the same old shooter, shooter in space, shooter this, yeah. or, you know, open world, uh, go kill this guy thing. It's like, we need a little more creativity. And yes, it's there in the indie games, but the indie games are so like, 
I just the, the 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 low grade art just fucks with me, man. Like I know I shouldn't be bothered by it. I should get over it. I've played games like that growing up, you know. That it, it's just like we're at this point where graphics are good. Can we not just have good graphics and good gameplay, or like what? <laughs> it seems to be a trade off. Yeah. Because the people who have the good graphics, they want to hurry up and turn a profit, so they just yep. shit out. Yeah. <laughs> Well, because it, it makes it takes so much money and effort to make the graphics. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. So you know, it's just like, and really you're paying a whole office full of people. You know, people. One guy that just worked on trees. One guy that just worked on landscapes. You know, like all that shit adds yeah. up very quickly. But yeah, ten guys that worked on landscapes. You know, twenty guys. Like these are massive fucking undertakings. Now it's crazy. Oh yeah, yeah. That's why the EA building down there is fucking huge now. Yeah, fuck EA. But... Yeah, I agree. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it, it it's it, it's interesting because I, I do want to see them take more swings at just weird shit. Exactly. You know, let's let's try and think out by the box. I mean there was this RPG on the Xbox three sixty that was entirely based on I think it was Frederick Chopin's operas. Ooh, it was just this. yeah. It, I think it's called it's Eternal Sonata. Oh, okay, that's what that's about. Shit, all right, I gotta play. Yeah, it's literally Chopin. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll look it up. But, Is that on uh, uh, PC now too? Or I'll have to look. You know how most Xbox exclusives end up on PC eventually. Yeah, yeah exclusive. Yeah. And originally, it probably is by now. I hope so. I, I want to give it a shot, but I don't want to buy a Microsoft yeah. system. Frederick Chopin. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was uh, all. It was basically just about a fictional world dreamed by him. No. Fuck and your yeah. battle sister was battle system was just him running around with like fucking, like playing music and stuff. It was just like it was really good. Huh. But it was just like the weirdest high concept, you know. Let's base let's base this on a fever dream of like a famous composer? composer you know <laughs> yeah. yeah all right all right all right shots fired out here man <laughs> like d list of the set that sense that most people aren't going to freaking remember who chopin is actually he is one of the more talked about ones in the community that i see in but, fact but you could use a, yes. a bust of him oh all right all right that's fair that's Look, fair because outside the music community it's like beethoven mozart and that's about it yeah, and you're lucky they know who Bach is, but without yeah. music. Yeah. Yeah. Bach? No, I don't Bach. I'm not a dog. Dog? I'm not a dog. What's what's Vivaldi? Vivaldi? <laughs> what's this about the seasons? I know the seasons. Yo, it's, fo- it's football season, basketball season, baseball season, and the playoffs. <laughs> Holy shit, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Oh, my God. So. <laughs> but, yeah, so, all right, all right, Chris, we didn't get to your second point, the one that you're actually, like, looking forward to. Let's let's go ahead and go go do that one. Let's do it. I mean, it still falls under that category that we were just talking about where it's, like, most games are, like, shooters or space exploration, but uh, Ghostwire Tokyo looked kind of Yo, that game looks fucking sick, though graphics Ooh. alone when i saw the like the first time but then i was like watching a little bit more when i watched it with sam afterwards and it looks fucking great yeah dude the gameplay looks a lot of fun i'm glad we finally got some gameplay i think i fucking missed that one. Oh, dude i have to go back i'm gonna have to go yeah. back i'm gonna have to watch that one definitely yeah. that that does look super hype i've been uh, i've been hearing about it for a while and been like really like all right this could be really cool but they were being very very vague about it so it was nice to finally get more into it and so so what is it like kind of give me so since i don't know it seems like it's going to be like a first person like action game that you basically explore tokyo and there's like crazy like weird not like it's they're saying it's the developers say it's not a horror game but there are definitely horror elements to it it is spookiness sure. but but um ooh. i don't know it looks really cool uh it's, it's even with the new trailer there's not a whole lot on it still but oh, that's funny but yeah it definitely looks like a unique new kind of thing but not totally like way outside the box 
I'm just excited to go run around first person in like modern day Tokyo. That's gonna be fucking neat. <laughs> so, like that's why you like the Yakuza games so much, right? Oh, absolutely. I fucking love the Yakuza games for running around fucking uh, Japan and uh, like, uh, especially like, I really wish they would import or like fucking translate and like make available the fucking feudal one. I can't remember the name of it now, but it like actually takes oh, place in feudal. Yeah. Kamurocho and like that looks so fucking cool. I'm a hundred percent behind that. Yeah, I saw the we, the same battle system of sorts. Yeah, I saw that yeah. before. It was really cool looking. But yeah, but of course, like they worried Western audiences wouldn't take to it. And I'm like, are you fucking <sighs> shitting me? One of our biggest properties. What the fuck? Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. And one of our <laughs> biggest like w- like almost it's basically a worldwide loved property now is fucking star wars which is so heavily based on japanese fucking concepts and like i just ah, fucking akira kurosawa movies i mean like anyone who's anyone the akira movie akira kurosawa movies influenced so much of that era of of sci-fi and western which was huge here yeah so it's like dude the audience is here. We're waiting for it. Like, what do we got to do? Sign a petition? Because that never works. So we ain't doing mm-hmm. that. I don't know. Yeah. We'll yeah. see. Um, they're wrapping up all the remakes, it seems like, now. So since they're, they've gotten to five, I think, with the newest uh, release, I had three, four, and five together. You just had to wait a couple months between each one or something. But And now they're working on the Like a Dragon, which is its actual like Japanese title. Um mm um but it's weird the new one's gonna be turn-based which seems like a really weird turn that does seem odd yeah i've seen some gameplay it looks cool don't get me wrong but it just it's very odd to be like you know go a a series that's all about being a a really good beat-em-up game that we don't have any good ones anymore but um to just like all right we're gonna do turn-based while even the biggest turn-based game like the people who came up with that system are not doing that anymore yeah, no, nobody does turn-based anymore. It's kind of frustrating. <laughs> yeah, it's like you get um, you get fucking Persona, and that's that's about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm trying to rack my brain for another. Oh, this the you had fucking the South Park games too, but yeah, but they're I mean they're different. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and no, that, it was it was a good it was a good turn-based game. Yeah, fractured, but fractured, but whole. It was really, actually, really good. Yeah, they kind of combine a lot of elements. It's, it's funny. It reminds me of a a, a flash game for Inuyasha that used to be on Adult Swim's <laughs> website way back in the day. Like it's very similar to that. Yeah, wow. that that weird three D grid pattern. Pretty sure I know which game you're talking about, and it's been a long time since I thought about that game. Right, it's been a hot fucking minute. <laughs> Between that and the Full Metal Alchemist one. Oh damn! I forgot about that game. <laughs> oh, See, I don't shit. remember any of those. Like the only one I remember from the old old swim was the old robot unicorn attack. Oh yeah, but that uh, scene, the Inu Yasha one, I'm pretty sure like that they did the like five minutes to die or some shit. Oh yeah, that game I sucked at. I could not kill myself quick enough. It was terrible. Oh, I did that a few times. It was okay. Yeah. 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 It was an interesting concept at the very least. But no, I'm pretty sure the Inu Yasha game predates. Uh, the the unicorn one might have uh, might have it, it was back when we were in like middle school early yeah. high school kind of thing yeah like back when you know they were showing you yasha <laughs> yeah yep <laughs> so. well, that's cool man i miss like flash games to an extent yeah you now you could just jump in and out of them for short periods of time like the you dumbest get... weird shit yeah you didn't have to get overly invested there was always some kind of weird mechanics that somebody would come up with it just seemed like such a free platform i don't know i think it was the original plague inc that was like that for me hmm. I was playing that and it used to be like the best game to play nice yeah. never got around to playing any of them <laughs> yeah i have it from i have it from steam because oh well, nice of course i downloaded it at the beginning of march because why oh, not? of course <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we all saw that coming. So, so what do you think of the design of the console itself? I know this is the big part right here. Let's do it. So I want to post a picture in the Discord here. Let's do it. Oh god, it's gotta this be is good. The, this is the la- this is the oh. first four 
at yep. launch, what they looked like. I want, honestly, all of us to think to ourselves, between the five, which one they think is the best looking. Okay. All right. I'm up for this challenge. Hmm. So... Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go ahead and I'm I'm sure this is gonna be an unpopular opinion and I'm gonna get skated to hell on this. I'm gonna go ahead and say I think PS5 is the best looking of the bunch. I put it number two. Okay, that's fair. I think I think the PS4 is the best looking. I see that's my number two, so I get it. So but then I would say PS5 is the second best. That's fair. Like if we take away the nostalgia and the and the original glass, you know, yeah. you're just pure design yeah pure design like the ps3 and the ps1 are are frankly ugly (laughs) yeah like the ps3 that you put in the that ps3 wasn't even the original ps3 no that's oh no that's That's not slim isn't it let me see yeah Yeah. or that's like the the newer ones when they took three was fucking ugly man yeah and huge (laughs) noisy Uh uh-huh yeah that's if That's we could weird. change the color, because I am not a fan of the white. I'm just going to go ahead and put that out there. I am not, like, any other color. Red, blue, green, orange, like, yeah. shit, any other color. I like the PS5. It, I think See, it looks pretty cool. Uh, I think the parts that stick out might be a little annoying. The parts that, like, so, the top where it curves, but... Yeah, there it is. That's, that's the original, original one. PS3. Yeah. Yeah, the original PS3 is even worse. But that's what yeah. says anything is that's the updated PS3 and it still looks bad. Oh, for right. real. <laughs> it looked better, but no, not by a whole lot. Yeah. Um, but I, I, you know, honestly, I'm usually one to say the same about white stuff like that because I'm a messy motherfucker, so I ruin it. But I actually really like the white. I think it's it's a good contrast to it, and it it gives it almost more of a sci-fi look, and it kind of feels more mm-hmm. futuristic than anything else has. Yeah, I've seen some mock-ups of it in black, and I think I definitely like the black more. But oh, I mean, I'm sure they're going to offer different colors and special edition yeah. versions and stuff. Another reason if to wait. They're talking about doing another Spider-Man version. Big shocker, I know. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, oh. yeah. Surprise, but. but... But well, that's the point. So, but the white doesn't look awful. It doesn't. Yeah. No, no. I'm not gonna say it's like my favorite like design. I, you know, if I was literally in a vacuum, I would say it's amazing. Yeah. But, oh no. geez. It, I, I just saw it. The, the picture of the original uh, PS3's boomerang controller. <laughs> oh my god! I forgot about that. Oh my oh goodness! My <laughs> I'm so glad they did not do that. <laughs> At the time, I was like, "Oh, that could be cool," but like, it just oh, no. Oh, no. It looks so bad, even worse in retrospect. Yeah, it really does. And that's I mean, another like, thing you should look at with the the controllers for each of the systems too. It wasn't until PS4 that they made any kind of real change to it. Like yeah, literally, yeah. all the other ones look I mean, exactly the general the same. shape and size and everything. Yeah. The PS3 they did kind of add a little bit in it, terms of like the the trigger buttons. Yeah, but it didn't it, change very much. Yeah, I went from a shoulder button to an actual trigger. No, um, they didn't do a real trigger until four. Three okay. was still a reverse trigger, basically. So they kind of yeah. curved downward, which is a little bit different um, than the previous ones, which were flat. But yeah, because I mean, yeah, Xbox I mean, 360 had a really like good, thing. Thing. yeah, yeah. Yeah, the 360 s literally looked like gun triggers. So it's like, okay, cool, good call. You guys know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, which is which is why everyone loves the 360 controller, and that's the one thing I've always had to you know secede to them. It's like, okay. You know, if you, especially if you're comparing it, PS3 versus 360. Oh, yeah. Hands I mean, down. Like, Xbox hands down, won like, that, for sure. It just felt like a better, like, it didn't feel like it was going to fall apart looking at it wrong. But exactly. I, I, I got to say, PS4 definitely, like, they nailed it with the DualShock 4. Most oh, comfortable yeah, controller great. I felt in my life. And a lot of people argue with me on that. Generally, they have bigger hands, I find. So that may have something to do with it. I have a big paw. I have like short fingers. Yeah, but like big palm. Yeah, like yeah. a big palm. Yeah. But the I think that that PS4 controller is very comfortable. No, oh, nice. Oh, yeah. I think I think I put it in the same same reign as the original Xbox 360 controller, but oh. only the Xbox 360 controller without the freaking battery pack. Yeah, fuck the battery pack. Uh, my fingers would get caught back there so often. 
Oh my god, I know. But I can't stand the new Xbox controller, like the next Xbox One. It just... Uh, it doesn't... It's just chunky. Yeah, exactly. Eh. 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 <laughs> um, but yeah, so the PS5 one looks cool. So I'm, I'm looking forward to getting to actually put my hands on and try it out. The biggest thing, of course, being fucking battery life because I'm so goddamn sick of charging my PS4 controllers. I hope they improve their fucking charge port as well, because, like, every mm. controller I've had ever has, like, it lasts yeah. for a while, and then after a while, like, the, it just doesn't hold the charger in anymore. You move yeah. it a lot at all, and it just pops yeah. out, and you're like, mother So, it's a weird <laughs> thing that I've noticed, too, is I find that it feels like the controller itself is making the cable less effective. Like whatever holds it, it's flattening that out somehow because it's at like a weird angle. Because when I get yeah. a new cable into it, it fucking it holds it perfectly. Brand new cable, fantastic for a while. But I mean, yeah. it's something with micro USB because it's got those little clips. Yeah, exactly. Kind of the end. Yeah. And so I, I've got to be that the the metal just kind of wears out. Yep, and that that was the problem, and that's why I'm glad they're going Type C with everything uh, nowadays. Type C is a much so better weird. connector. Much uh, better. It's faster, better data transfer, faster charging. It yep. holds on better. You don't have to worry about that. Oh, hang on, is this upside down? You're yep. fiddling with yeah. it, and you have to shine a <laughs> flashlight on or something. Which Fuck I that. personally am like, I make fun of people who seem to struggle with like connectors and shit, getting them in. Right. It's like, all right, if you fuck up the first time and then you fuck up the second time, you're just, you're stupid. Like that's on you, dude. Like, <laughs> nah, it, it's in the IT world. We say that, uh, the USBs exist in fourth dimensional space because you never get it the first two tries and you never figure out why. It's like, you know exactly which way it's supposed to go. And it still doesn't go in the first time. Like what the hell? And it's usually just because the damn thing's too tight, but yeah uh more often in my personal experience it's user error it's me going all right oh no that didn't line up right oh, okay i'm trying to plug it into an hdmi now for some reason all right <laughs> you know? that one we've all done that one <laughs> it's more of a problem of you know the usb is hidden but like on something like a controller like you can look at the pieces and go well this part is round and this part is round so they go together you know? Yeah, I, I, I've never had that issue with plugging in my PS4. I've never had to do it more than once. So like, click, boom, done. But, but yeah, that's going to be cool, though. I, I'm excited for a PS5. Won't be getting it right away. Um, but it is, it's cool to see something new. Um, we'll see how the performance ends up being cause, and how quickly, you know, an affordable graphics card beats it, you know. I don't know. But I'm excited to see what kind of games. A lot of new IPs, a lot of female protagonists. That's that's really what's got me the most excited for it. It's just some new original things coming. A little more diversity and then Yes. And, and, and not yeah. like forced diversity, but just, you know, natural diversity. It's just like, yeah, it's a woman character. We're not gonna shove it down your throat, but she's there. Cool. Yep. Let's see, is there anything else on that? Uh, I think that's about all I got for Games Talk, specifically. Um, what about uh, Godfall? It's like, Godfall. Um, it's it's a Gearbox game, hack and slash. It kind of looks like... Oh, yeah. Took, like, Warframe mixed it with, like, fucking Destiny. Um, to be honest with you, anything that has the Gearbox name on it now, I'm always just kind of like, eh, at the start, just because they've let me down so much with stuff and really i don't know it just it just looks like they're they're just kind of doing the same game slightly different again which is kind of their mmo in a way like yeah mmo is that what i said wow nailed it, it sure is i was wondering what you're talking <laughs> and about and their like, mo excuse me <laughs> um but i mean yeah it's different than in like face value but like just watching the gameplay just felt like oh this is just another gearbox game i don't eh. we'll see it could be good um, i could be wrong <laughs> they always just crash and fail um yeah. Yeah. but so the other one is i want to bring up because it's one of those always is this me being an old man oh god or are they seriously trying too hard? Destruction All Stars. All right. That Rocket League looking fucking game. 
Yeah, I think I just pushed that one straight out of my brain to have zero interest. I just I I want to keep saying that this is one of those it's I know you kind of like Sunset Overdrive, but it never, reminds me a lot of that. I like the the aesthetic of it cuz I never actually got to play it. So I don't oh, okay. know if it's a good Oh yeah, cuz it's Xbox only, yeah. Yeah, exactly. But it's like that that it always makes me think of uh that fucking executive sitting up at his thing going, oh, you know what the kids like these days? They like their battle royales with the Fortnites and the Rocket Leagues and the... Yeah. Why don't we put Rocket League, but they can get out and they can dance? Yeah, that's that's exactly what it looked like to me, too. And I was immediately, like, totally turned off. And it was like, it looked like they were hyping it as this big thing. And I'm like, oh, God. Yeah, speak about tone death there, guys. Yeah, it was just it was just really interesting because I I'd also been playing uh playing in general, which the first time any of us mentioned what we've been playing. Oh yeah. Uh, I was playing a little bit of uh, Warzone, the Call of Duty like oh. free stuff. Yeah. So they have like two main modes in there. One is that straightforward, ripped straight out of PUBG, you know, circle closing in, and you have to pick up all your stuff mode, and it is the most boring thing on the fucking planet because yeah. you just sit there and you freaking hide yeah i mean that's that was what fortnite was too you just fucking build something or hide and i don't, I don't know it just that that whole thing never interests me i like i was like all right it's free i'll give it a try but it just was like eh, this is eh. but like but i enjoyed more was they had like a they took that same map and they made something called blood money blood money was more of a it was like a very short instance you know 25 minutes everybody still jumped out of the plane there was no circle that closed in yes the map was completely free the whole time nice you would get you would get uh money essentially for killing things and for filling contracts and there was still all your stuff like just littered throughout but when oh. you died you just got to come back. Oh, okay. You lost money, but you got to come back, and you could keep doing it. You could keep playing, keep out doing all kinds of stuff. It was this continuous thing, and it it was a very different pace. So, to me, that sounds almost more of um kind of combining a single player like approach to a multiplayer game without like mm-hmm. forcing it to be a single player story. And that that sounds interesting. I'll have yeah. to give that a shot. It was interesting because it became, it became this very free for all. You know, I always go back to the like the vision of what the division was, mm-hmm. just like four man teams in like this this abandoned city, yeah. running around, and it was kind of like that. But you know, it was like semi tactical, but it was also you're running around doing stuff. Oh yeah. So it it, cool. I think that was one of the best implementations I'd ever seen. I thought the battle royale was literal garbage. <laughs> but but blood money that whole plug i think it's called plunder is the same thing uh that was the best implementation i've seen of something like that and i think it came out amazing and i think it's something everybody should try because it's free yeah i mean it can't be free yeah that yeah. that does sound definitely interesting and may kind of find maybe a multiplayer that connects with me a little more giving that it's yeah. more than just shoot the other team okay yeah. okay I mean, shoot the other team is a cool thing, but you know, yeah, I made it a mission. We, I, I was hanging out with like, literal teenagers, like a couple kids from my work, and they're like, "Hey, we're streaming this. Do you want to do melee mo- only?" I'm like, "Wait, we're straight. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. So, like, okay, you just, you just, uh, you just spawn in just with a knife in your main hand, and and a uh, uh, shield in your second hand. Okay. Oh, okay. So we." so there's like we're running around doing that and then all of a sudden oh there's a helicopter yeah it's targeting us we gotta run so i just sit there with my shield up i'm getting experience for just (laughs) holding my shield up in front of the helicopter that's awesome see so that like like i was saying about the single player aspect um a lot of them are trying to like give you this freedom of to make your own like thing out of it it's your own game that's what fallout 76 was supposed to be but Mm -hmm. and a lot of people you know in the community did make it but because it was so buggy the community didn't really 
get to the point that it should have for that. But um, you know, you're creating your own story in the world. You're having your own like thing. That yeah. that's really cool. I, I mean, and since it's only it's only like a short instance thing, it gives yeah. you the opportunity to just kind of do whatever. Yeah, jump in. I'm gonna just fuck around and do this. I'm gonna use only this, like you said, the melee only. That's that's cool. Yeah. I'll have to give it a shot. As far as games I've been playing, um, I played a little more Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, mainly, just kind of working on my uh, trophy hunting on it a little. I, I do want to platinum it. We'll see if I actually do it. But um, I did the the dresses side quests uh, or whatever, getting all the dresses. Got that trophy for all of them. That didn't take long but it was it's weird like playing this game because like i really like the linearity of it going through the game but when you go back to you know okay i'm gonna go find all the hidden stuff and do that it's not having that open world to just go explore and everything is really weird actually having to select the different chapters of the game to go back to like i get why they did it it just it feels really weird yeah because it's not like a straight open worldy game no, no, there's like open sections of it and stuff, but like, eh, but I don't know. It, it's cool though that they had some kind of way. Like, I, I couldn't think of a better way to do this where you have post game things you can do without like breaking up being able to tell a good story through the game itself. So, I think they kind of nailed that. Kind of, it just feels weird, you know. Um, other than that, I've been playing some uh, Dissidia. I finally bought that after you know years of it being out and playing a little bit of the free version. That game is fucking great, but it's like it's the type of game where you just kind of do the same thing over and over again. So after a while, you're just like, ah, all right, I think I think I got my fill. But you know, you, I actually I did buy DLC for it within about ten minutes, and only because it was Tifa. <laughs> I wanted to play as Tifa, so I was like, fuck it, I'll, I'll pay for Tifa, it's worth it. It was like f- five bucks, I think, which kind of felt bad, but I got the game for like 10 15 so I was like, all right. Hey, I paid... That's when you don't feel bad about buying DLC. Yeah. Exactly, I got it for fucking steal. If I paid $60 for this and then had to buy all the characters for five bucks more each, I'd have been like, ah, nah, and that's why I waited so long, so... Yeah. But it's good, it's fun. Uh, it's definitely a great update from the PSP games. Um without losing its itself um though they did this weird thing where basically um the story is the story mode is literally just the story like cut scenes and you have to do like single player or multiplayer to earn like this like basically a currency type thing um to, the cut scenes. yeah to unlock the cut scenes exactly so you can progress through the story by playing the game but it's not like a forced thing like okay this is the story's going on now you got to battle this guy is this guy so you have more choice of who you want to play as so you're not like i don't want to fucking play as ramza right now like fuck off you know how dare you i i love ramza but i don't i don't fully like the way they built him into Cydia. i think they could have done a better job but it's kind of a hard thing with that game being the way the game is true yeah but that's cool mm-hmm. um other than that played some jackbox a lot with friends that is a fucking awesome game jackbox is great specifically drawful is the best <laughs> fucking love drawful and i found drawful. out what's that mouth uh, potato that was pretty amazing yeah, whatever that one. That was pretty good too. Um, I found out actually I have Drawful 2. I got free with Epic a few months back and I saw it and I'm like, oh, this looks dumb. What is this? This is squiggly bullshit, whatever. I didn't actually look into what it was. And then after playing Drawful, I realized, oh shit, wait, I have Drawful 2. I should play that sometime. So we should definitely do that together sometime, fellas. Oh, yeah, I'd be down. I'd be freaking Same. down. The biggest thing that's going to be a problem is either we're going to all have to get together or I'm going to have to figure out how to get my stream to not be like 10 minutes behind. So <laughs> yeah. I mean, we, we tested By it out with Corey. Answer it, it's over. Exactly. We tested out with Corey and it worked pretty well. But, you know, you could still feel like the behind lag of him not seeing the image for like 10 seconds until after we By did. By the time he's typing it in, it's like, Corey, you didn't answer. He's like, what? But <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Okay. It just, so we'll, we'll, we'll figure yeah. it out. The Work big out one the I liked with my friends was Fibbage. That was Fibbage is fun. Yeah, Jackbox 2. That was Fibbage and Quiplash. Quiplash is pretty cool too. I did like Quiplash. And it was just, it was good to vote. It was always funny to write in your own answers and vote. Yeah. Yeah. Than exactly. Just like drawing and stuff like that, which well, that's, they well, that's didn't like I... it as much. <laughs> they didn't like they... the drawing. 
Yeah, some people get like hung up on, well, I can't troll, missing the point that that's literally the whole point of the yeah. game. And that's what makes oh, it so much going, fun. you man, this looks horrible. And yeah. you're, you're just laughing so hard because it's so just, hard. the more you do, the How worse. How the hell is that supposed to be a Jaguar? <laughs> yeah, right? And it's great to see the random guesses people come up with to fill yeah. the like choices at the end. That, that gets me going good. I love it. Especially when it's like all of the guesses are the same thing, slightly differently written. And they're like, oh, fuck, which one is the right one? <laughs> right. That's fun. But Corey's one of my favorites to play with because he just, he did this one that literally, it looked just like scribbles. And we were like, what the actual fuck is that, Corey? And he was and even like, I don't know. Dude. At it and just be like, you know, I don't, I'm not even sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too fucking good. Um uh i think that's pretty much all i've really played recently um a few weeks back played some civ 6 but i thought i had it on my epic games account but then it wasn't so i haven't played it again since but yeah it's fine i had a lot of fun playing it but dude that's a game that i just i'll get locked into for hours upon hours as you guys know and it's oh yeah same here oh yeah civ yeah, civilization, yeah. man, was was enough to actually get me to choose which high school I wanted to go to, <laughs> because the teacher's like, if you come to my my program, you can you can have a free copy of Civ. Damn, really? <laughs> That's a good fucking incentive, though. That man or right. woman knew what they were doing. Yeah, yeah, she was crazy. But oh, uh, yeah. damn, oh yeah, another fun games. Um, I guess it's my turn. I've been playing a lot of Pokemon. I just borrowed it from my brother and uh, Shield version specifically. Mm. And I beat the game. I'm now at a point where I'm just kind of going around seeing what Pokemon are showing up on different days with different weathers. Yeah, and so that's for the DLC to drop. That's a lot of cool things like that to the game that like, you know, as they get more involved, like something I always loved about Animal Crossing is the interaction with real time and like having that like different like weather system in the game and all that. That's really cool and that you get different Pokemon based on that. The problem I had with that game was it was just too easy, way too easy. Every gym I I was like, I got to like redo my whole party because I'm just burning through these enemies. Yeah, it definitely kind of and almost incentivizes you to want to try different Pokemon because it's like everyone gets yeah. so yeah. over leveled so quickly. They, yeah, they do the thing where they heal you after like almost every every battle. fucking battle, dude. Every major battle. Like I, I thought, okay, this is gonna be an issue. You know, I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to survive the the you know elite four type thing where at the end before you fight the champion. Oh, and they, they, they literally heal you between you. the elite four. Between each fight, first you have it's so it's not actually the elite four. First, you have to fight oh, yeah. all your different rivals who uh-huh. were going up against you in what's called the gym challenge, where yeah. they're just like everyone's trying. Good luck. Yeah. So we'll see who makes it. Which was a and cool so concept. There's like technically like four characters that are with you most of the way through that, yeah. mm-hmm. and, holding your um, fucking hand so, the whole way. Huh? Holding your fucking hand the whole way. Oh yeah. I mean, healing it's kind of you, like that with X and, and you y. and telling you how to where to go, how to get there, and yeah, yeah. X and Y kind of got a little bit like that. That they, that you would always show up and your rival was just there. Yeah, just, hey. and it was like four of them, and they're like, "Okay, hey, we're gonna do this now." I've, I've fun, never had fun, a rival fun. who is more just there than than in this game. For yeah. for starters, you you pick your Pokemon. And you know how they always take the, the type that you're weakest to. Ha, well, sure. he takes the type that y- you're he's weak against. to you. Yeah. They did that in Sun and Moon, too, didn't they? I don't know. I never played Sun and Moon. Remember. I forget. It's been a while. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They've just the been point. progressively getting easier in little ways like that. Yeah, instead, like, the champion takes the the opposite type of you. And I, I mean, like, okay, I guess that makes, like, the final-ish battle a little harder. Not yeah. really, because by then you've already got a Pokemon that's going to counter that because you've already got a fucking full party and a box full of Pokemon that you're just yeah. like, I can pull out any one of these bitches and still beat your ass with it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 you're the champion. You should be 
kicking my ass, trying to kick my ass anyway. Yeah, exactly. There and be at you least just tear through it. I think the hardest fight in the game was so you beat the game, you beat the champion, you're the champion, and then after you beat the game, you see the credits, you go back in, and then they do this whole other thing, which is where you actually get the chance to catch the, the legendary sword or shield Pokemon for your game. Cause you oh, so you don't even get to do that till post game? Nope. They, so they, it's kind of like Mew, Mewtwo. There's, with there's like that, three. Yeah. There's three legendaries. There's the sword, there's the shield, and then there's the Pokemon that is the cause of like the whole Dynamax thing. Mm. Where they turn giant and get like their moves turn different, they have different looks and all that. Yeah. So th- you catch that Pokemon, the Dynamax Pokemon, um, at the in in order to progress through the main story pre credits, and then you come back and it's like there's like so the whole thing is that these the Sword and Shield Pokemon save the day alongside two trainers, and these two trainers are. Um, like at first it was like oh it's just the hero and then as you play through you uncover that there's there was two and then there then you find out there was also pokemon and shocker i know but yeah, so right. you, you get to the end and uh you use the sword and shield pokemon they help you fight and then they disappear back into their slumber in in the woods where you found them so then the ancestors of said heroes come back with their hair in the shape of a sword or a she and a shield <laughs> what the fuck I, i'm like you can't make this shit up I, I mean apparently they did but like <laughs> yeah it happened so holy shit fucking they they come around and, and steal try to steal all like the ancient artifacts that helped summon the pokemon in the first place in order to claim that they are the kings of of the region and then they just go around to all the gyms and make Pokemon Dynamax without a trainer and for no reason other than to show the true nature of the legendary Pokemon by trying to force them to go wild and Dynamax and, and attack places so that they can be the heroes. Fuck you, you you're huge now. It, yeah. It's like, okay, so like first off, it it made very little sense. They They just somehow managed to just disappear and make these pokemon giant and then go off and like then they finally get to the the legendary the legendary doesn't lose its shit shocker it's a legendary fucking pokemon of course it's not going to just lose its shit it's more than just like some random pokemon it's stronger so it's like it's kind of losing control but it's at that like oh well i i know i'm about to lose control i don't want to do this shit and so it's like holding back and then like the a few other things happen like the the your rival ends up going off with the one you catch the other and um use it to help settle everything and then you have this final battle with your rival and that battle was the hardest battle in the game i will say that that is the only point where i actually was like hmm shit i i might be down to my last pokemon or two before the end of this fight Otherwise, like I would like I would be more surprised if I lost more than two Pokemon in any battle throughout the entire game. That's pretty bad. It's crazy, dude. I never even end up finishing it because I borrowed it from him before you did. But like, I just I got like I want to say five or six gyms in and was just like, ah, I don't know. I just don't feel like it anymore. Yeah, I can understand that. The only reason I powered through, I literally powered through it uh, in the last five days or so well, i guess technically i beat it before yesterday yesterday i started playing horizon but um yeah i i think i beat it in maybe five six days tops and i literally just powered through because he was all worried about not being able to play the dlc by the time it comes out which is until the end of the month but i was like okay look i'm just gonna beat it as quickly as i can and we can talk about it yeah so oh, good. I powered through it 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 was okay it definitely, yeah. they they dumbed it down for sure. It's like that. Everyone's a winner. And it's like no. I mean, I would I would rather like lose once and be like, ah, oh, this gym leader's tough, man. I have to train up my Pokemon. Yeah. You know, go and... back and level a few Pokemon up, find a couple battles, maybe explore an area, try to catch some different Pokemon that'll give me a better advantage, something. But like, yeah. The hardest never... part is that they have all these Pokemon in the wild that are just there 
especially in like the wild area where it's like you walk into this Pokemon, he's level 20. You walk into this Pokemon, he's level 25. You walk into that Pokemon, he's level fucking 45, and he will fuck your day up real fast. Yeah, which I thought was kind of cool because then you get like a mix, you know? It's not yeah. just okay. You have a linear progression of everything. It's It kind of gives it more of a... I don't, I don't want to say like real, but like more, more real kind of <laughs> like world. It's like, hey, this area isn't just a bunch of weak fucks. There's, you know, actually other Pokemon. It's not like only these little babies are over here and then only these hard asses are over here. They'll fuck your day up. Don't look at yeah, it. I, I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense from like a world building perspective. Yeah. But it just kind of makes it odd. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, they, they were really good about um, so. The Pokemon that were weaker tended to be in grass areas. The Pokemon that were walking around in the middle of no grass, those were usually the Pokemon that were a little bit stronger than the ones in that area. And then they would contain it so that it was like, because the wild area is very vast. It, you actually go around multiple of the cities where the gyms are. And it's all kind of this big open interconnected area. You go under two two bridges that separates like the whole first half of the game and then there's more in the second half and yeah. so depending on where you go yeah the pokemon still did get stronger as you went to those higher gyms but it was it definitely was like they, i mean they weren't more than 10 15 levels higher than what you were at uh it was just high enough and then they put a, a cap where you couldn't catch the higher level pokemon if like so say you've you've beaten the second gym you can catch pokemon up to level i think 20 or something yeah like that. what they've done so if you run into game. something that's level 23 24 21 even you're shit out of luck you got to come back you can fight him you might be able to beat him but you're not gonna be able to catch him he won't let his guard down so you can't throw a pokeball period and they kind of always did that, like, in terms of you wouldn't be able to really control them if you had them over a certain level without the gym badge, so... It's kinda... Yeah, where they kind of did away with that, because as long as you were friends, which you, is how you, you know, you do that by just doing the camping thing, which I found kind of interesting, because it's like, depending on what you cook while you're camping, that not only do the Pokemon gain experience with anything doing to do with camping that you can play with like the toys and stuff like that and that gives yeah. gives them experience or you could cook and the cooking not only gives them experience it heals them it can remove status conditions and it can uh refill their pp for the, all their moves yeah i thought the camping aspect was really cool really cool oh, it's aspect. like a positive it's like a it's an evolution of the whole pokemon and me and all that yeah. other stuff exactly, exactly. And so, and no, then on top of that, you know, you have the, they grow more friendly. They are more likely to avoid attacks or crit somebody because they wanted to make you happy or something. Oh, and it's cool too. When you're in battle and that happens, they actually like notify, oh, because he's, he's, uh, he's really happy because you guys are really close. Oh, he was able to crit because he was so happy. Good job. Like I, I thought that was a really <laughs> cool aspect. Very yeah, positive. Creative. I mean, they've done a lot of changes to the Pokemon system and I'd say for the most part, they're for the better. I, yeah. I think they, because they've added all this other stuff, they didn't need to go and dumb it down and make it so easy where it's like, you yeah. know, I mean, at the, by the time I went and challenged the, like the end, the end of the thing where, you know, you fight all the challengers again, you fight, you actually have to fight the gym leaders again, and then you can fight the champion. So by yeah. the time I got to that point, I had, you know, like 50 potions and like, 20 hyper potions and you know 15 super potions all that you know all that kind of stuff so i had my my bag was pretty stocked oh, yeah. i didn't have to use any of them i think maybe i used one revive throughout that whole process and oh. possibly a potion of some sort at some point and that's about it most of the time i just was like oh okay type difference swap pokemon one hit okay what's next well, fellas, um, loving the chat. Uh, we are over an hour now, so um, I still got some stuff to say. I'm sure you guys do too. So I'm going to go ahead and say we're going to go into the quote unquote after show here. Um, you know, a little more free form, a little more just bullshitting. And that's what we're doing okay. the whole time here anyway. But just, just a little separator so the file doesn't get to be, you know, massive for every fucking episode. You know, 
So, uh, yeah. So uh, that's it for the main podcast. Uh, stay tuned for the after show. This will be the first time we did that. Um, that's, yeah, that's that.